So today I thought I'd uh, share with you uh, one of my riding routes. So this is a route that's taken in mostly Hampshire, uh, going down as far as Winchester, coming back up into touching uh, Berkshire, starting off here in Yateley in Hampshire and coming back to just about here. It's a route I think of about 115 miles. So hopefully I'll be able to show you some really nice riding roads, some picturesque scenery, perhaps less of my uh, whittling or prattling on on things. So here we are on the A30. Coming up here to Blackbush Airport, which is a small little private uh, airport, there you see it. Uh, the Bush Cafe there, lovely little place, especially on a Sunday morning. Good cup of tea, nice bacon butty. And here we come into the little uh, village of Hartley Whitney. Lovely picturesque little village or town. And onto the B3016. It's a really nice little road when there's no traffic on it, unfortunately. Lots of uh, double solid white lines, and not many overtaking spots. <laughs> Onto the A287 towards Basingstoke. B3349 towards Odium. tractor putting crap all over the road. I was so careful of that in Ben's. Now we're on to the A339 towards Alton. This again is a fantastic winding road but not many overtaking spots. Lots of solid white lines, 50 mile an hour speed limit because uh, of the casualties that there have been on this road in the past. But if you can ride the whole length of this road from Basingstoke to Alton or back from Alton to Basingstoke, either late in the evening or first thing in the morning when there's no traffic on the road, it's just absolutely fantastic.
That's just what you want. Bird crap everywhere. They say birds shitting on you meant to be lucky. Don't call that very lucky. are into the uh, South Downs National Park area. Beautiful. And just ahead is the famous Lumi's Cafe. You can see there, just up on the right. Let me give that a miss. Today. Again, do a very nice fry up in there. to the A34 towards Salisbury and eventually up to Newbury so this is just a tedious bit of dual carriageway to link up uh, with the route a bit and back onto the uh, small B roads which are far more fun
looks like that's been resurfaced this road with that horrible bit of tarmac with they just chuck stones on it it's a nightmare on a bike oh god yeah that's horrible oh this road is awful this used to be a really lovely road it's not confidence inspiring why can't councils spend money on bloody properly resurfacing roads rather than this crap first bit of heavy rain and frost and goodness knows what else and this will be churned up and potholes everywhere it's just a real false economy not to mention downright dangerous i'm just going to slow down here there's nothing behind me i mean look at that look at the road surface Stop Bridge, lovely, lovely town, that one down there. So back onto the A30, and that links us up quite nicely to get onto the A3057 towards Andover. slow. I mean I'm all for uh, getting a move on but road signs and road markings are a place for a reason to pick out hazards. go over the River Test in Hampshire. Here it is, the River Test. Mayfly Pub is uh, quite a nice little pub there to stop at. Oh, beautiful thatched cottages coming out riding yeah it's enjoying the roads definitely but also it's about seeing parts of the country that you wouldn't necessarily see and in the 30 and 40 mile an hour speed limit areas it's nice just to to enjoy that and the scenery I mean, just look at that view. Oh, wow. Right, time to enjoy the road a bit more. Headquarters. Definitely don't want people to get in, do they, over the fence?
fantastic view out there. a lovely stretch of road it's the first time in ages that I've had that without any traffic whatsoever on it just link it together and wow quick detour up here to High Clear Castle there it is High Clear Castle. Lovely looking building. So that was just a quick stop off at High Clear Castle. Onto the B3051 towards Tadley. So here we are in Wokingham. This is an absolutely gorgeous little town, Wokingham. Lovely shops and restaurants. Mind you, the one-way system around Wokingham is a bit of a pain, but... Up there on the left is Crowthorn, which is where Wellington College is. And now into Sandhurst, famous for the uh, Royal Military Academy, where all British Army officers go to train. Back to the beginning of where we started, back in coming in towards Yateley. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed that as much as I have. I've had an absolute blast this afternoon. About 115 odd miles, been out for about three hours, 
what a brilliant way to bed in a new set of tyres which I had fitted yesterday. So please comment on the route, feel free to share your favourite routes and roads, look forward to hearing those. So until next time, safe riding. Cheers all.